Hi, this is Becky Oberg from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about how we need to stop talking about Trump's psychiatric state. President Trump is a controversial figure, I will say that, and a lot of people, including top psychologists, psychiatrists, and other so-called experts, have been saying that he has a mental illness or multiple mental illnesses, and that needs to stop. It's reinforcing the stigma of mental illness by attaching mental illness to such a polarizing figure, and it's also unethical. This has been going on since Barry Goldwater ran in the 60s, and people would send maca, they would describe Goldwater's symptoms, and he ended up with all sorts of psychiatric diagnoses. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad Goldwater wasn't a president, but they didn't need to drag mental health into it, and we don't need to do that with Trump. We can make plenty of arguments against his policy positions without labeling him mentally ill. And even if he is mentally ill, that is between him and his doctor. And having all these doctors speculate to his psychiatric state is unethical and immoral. It's not right. Like I said, it reinforces the stigma. It makes people hesitant to seek treatment because they're afraid their doctors are going to talk. And it perpetuates the myth that mental illness is untreatable. Mental illness is very treatable. Even personality disorders. I have borderline personality disorder in remission because I got treatment. And I was able to get treatment because I knew nobody was going to talk about my case. I knew it was a secret between me and my doctor. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the matter. What are your thoughts? Leave a message in the comments. This is Becky Oberg from Recovering from Mental Illness, signing off.